we're in Nashville! Here for the next two days with Conrad Hotels. This is one of their most recent property openings and we're here to film it and explore the Nashville area. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Jalen and I'm a travel and lifestyle creator based in New York City. And there's Andy in the back helping me film this video. I think we're gonna be spending most of our time in the hotel for the next 48 hours. So I'm gonna be sharing all the restaurants that are located in the hotel. Mmm, things you can do around the area and just some highlights on our trip. Ooh, yeah, hear that crunch? Let's go. After a quick two hour flight from New York City to Nashville, we finally arrived and we are super excited to explore. We hopped in an Uber and made our way over to the new Conrad Hotel, which was about a 10 to 15 minute drive from the airport. Is this an event that you guys are having? Yes, or? it's for breast cancer. And oh, kidney, kidney donation, I see. Kitchen pastries. Thank you. Keys. So nice. Now there's a panel on the wall for your bathroom as well. Cuts off all the lights. Then you have a night light under the vanity. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Light panel that's in the bathroom and at the front desk, at the front door. Hit that night light button when you get up in the middle of the night and you don't stumble around. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Have a day. You too. I'm just putting my face together because I look so dead. We have about an hour to do the assets for the room before meeting with the director. He's going to be showing us around the entire property and then we're probably just going to be like shooting as he's like talking to us about um, the hotel. My skin is so dry. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot some assets. That's part of the deliverables for my contract. I like finding like shadow. So earlier there was a, a harsher shadow line here, but there's some on the curtain area. So I'm kind of just focusing on there, getting like a close-up tub shot. I think it would be cool if I like shot in the bathtub later or tomorrow morning when the light hits again. And then just finding like small details of the bathroom that I can highlight. I like how every Conrad property, they have local art in their hotels depending on where you are. So like Italy, they had local artists from Sardinia um, all around the hotel. So it's cool to uh, see them implement local artists within and around the hotel. They want half the shots with me and half the shots without me, so I already did. We just finished all the ones without me. Probably gonna do the ones with me, maybe tomorrow or later. They also gave us macarons, and it's really good. It has this like, is it passion fruit or guava? Chocolate? And passion fruit. Like I've mentioned earlier, the hotel does a really good job with implementing local artists. So we went around and got to see some of the art. Then we popped into Thistle and Rye, which is a bar and it has an indoor outdoor space, which is really nice. I like playing with like the shadows and stuff. So I might do some stuff around there, but I love like the different textures. I love like the color palette. It's super earthy. After a tour of the property, we headed down to Blue Aster, which is a bar and restaurant which opens for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We were having some quick bites and a drink before dinner. Usually when we work with hotels, we usually like to get a little bit of everything to kind of showcase the menu and um, what they have to offer. Uh, when you are sitting out here, you can order the small bites and they also have a dinner, like a full set menu inside, which we will share with you guys later on. Another thing I love shooting is flat lays, especially when it comes to food, because it just shows everything and it looks very aesthetically pleasing. Mmm, truffle. Okay, we got the corn soup with lobster. Ooh, that's really good. Got some caviar with some creme fraiche. Is my stomach gonna allow me to eat this stuff? And then you had the pearl spoon, the only way to eat caviar because if you use 
um, metal, it alters the taste of the caviar. There were so many things on the menu, but we decided to go for steak, lamb, a bunch of sides, took some assets, and then just called it a night. Good morning. It is officially day two and our last full day here in Nashville. We are on our way to get coffee now. Um, I think it's in a plaza. We're gonna get coffee and then we're gonna try two different Nashville hot chicken spots that I've been recommended. Two are very popular, so we're gonna try it out and I'm so excited. We love Nashville hot chicken, so excited to try it here. Hi, yes, how are you? Good. Can I do the strawberry oat milk with matcha? And then can I do in, do you want hot or ice? Hot or ice? Hot, hot vanilla latte with oat milk. Okay, I got the strawberry beetroot oat milk matcha latte. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It tastes like, it kind of tastes like the Nesquik uh, strawberry milk with a hint of matcha in it. After getting coffee, it was time for our Nashville hot chicken mission. Our first stop was Hattie B's. We're almost inside. How long has it been already? It's been 30 minutes. And we just got to the door. <laughs> it was about a 45 minute wait in total and this was about 30 minutes after it just opened. And then we headed next door to Princess Hot Chicken. We are trying the Nashville Hot chicken! I'm so excited. We have ranch from Prince's and then we have the comeback sauce from Hattie B's, which I was... Mmm, um, <laughs> smells good. All right, Andy's doing a blind taste test of the chicken. We just bought it to go because we had um, a reservation here at the hotel, um, but it's still hot, it's still fresh. Like we, it's literally like five minutes away from the hotel. Try this one first. Here. Ooh, yeah, hear that crunch? How is it? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. That's good? Okay, you wanna try the other one? I think I like the... First or second? The first one, the chicken texture was really good. The second one got a little more spice in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Out of the two, I think I like the first one. The first one? Yeah. Okay. Let me, can you do me now? Mmm. Mmm. The chicken is juicy. That was really good. Can I open it? Mm -hmm. That was really good, whatever that one was. I think my favorite is the second one. Yeah. That's from there. This one? Yeah. Ooh, this one's Prince's. Okay. Mine was Prince's. And you like the first one better? Mm -hmm. You like Hattie B's better. Oh. Apparently, okay, so we were talking to a few locals and Prince's is the OG uh, Nashville chicken spot. Hattie B's is um, the lady at the coffee shop said they're copycatters, but they're more popular. Um, but I really, really like Prince's. They're both mild flavor. And uh, the one from Prince, Prince's is, has a little bit more kick to it, which I really like. And the breading is super crunchy. I think I like the fries. The more. fries too, from yeah. Prince's. Yeah. Fire. Also sweet tea. Um, I don't know if Prince's had sweet teas. I think they had strawberry lemonade. Uh, we forgot to get that, but. Sweet tea from Hattie B's is so good and they have the good ice. They have the nugget ice. We waited about like 45 minutes total for Hattie B's, including the line. The line was like 30 minutes and then waiting for the food was like another 15. And then Prince's was like 15 minutes. There wasn't a long line because this, I, I think this is their newest location. They're both really good, but I like the flavor and the breading in, of Prince's. We spent the afternoon hanging at the cabanas by the pool and ordered some quick bites before having lunch at Thistle and Rye. 
We are so full from all the food we've been eating, so we didn't order too many plates. We got the short rib udon, and then we also got shrimp tempura and rolls. And then we also got this cotton candy drink, virgin, but it looks so pretty. It took like 15 to 20 minutes to make. It was a long process, but if you look closely, there's like layers of different colors, and there's like the glitter from the cotton candy, and it's so fun. bar owned by Justin Timberlake. There's live music downstairs and upstairs. There's two separate bars, but they sound incredible. They're singing right now, if you can hear them. But we're looking down Broadway Street and it is so busy. We came on a Friday night and they said, expect madness and it really is. Good morning, we are on our last day in Nashville and we just got our room service, taking some photos and doing some videos. I got an iced vanilla latte, we got blueberry pancakes and then a bourbon maple cinnamon roll, some bacon and some avocado, just shooting some last minute things. We're checking out at the Re and then heading to the airport today, so making the most out of our 48 hours here in Nashville. Today is pretty cloudy, so the, the light's going in and out, as you can probably see. But when the sun is shining, you can see the um, shadow play on the table here because the shears. But we're just kind of waiting on that. So past few days have been super sunny, and then today just all of a sudden decided to be really cloudy. As soon as we stepped into the room and saw the bathtub, I knew we had to shoot assets here. We waited until the last day, until the light was really nice. And then they brought us to the airport in their home car, which is a Mercedes EQS. It was super smooth. And that is the end of our Nashville journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.